Hey Arwen, you wanna come in and help me make some hash browns? Yeah, sure. All right. On one of our last videos, we had made hash browns and we received some comments of people asking for our recipe, I guess you could say. Um, so this morning we're gonna make some hash browns. It's quite simple and we'll kind of go through the steps for you. So never ever wash your cast iron pan with soap. So what you'll need is if you want to just make one portion, one potato, one large potato would probably be enough for making one portion, but we've got multiple people eating, so I've got a few potatoes here. We have potatoes, we've got canola oil, and then also a purple onion, which is kind of like the secret ingredient. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get a shredder and potato and what I do is I intermittently switch out between potato and onion so that the onion is getting in with the potato. And right now I'm preheating the pan. Um, you usually want it set to kind of a medium to higher heat, a, a little above medium. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. Yeah, now if you are cooking with a cast iron pan, it does take a while for it to get to the proper temperature. It takes a while for a cast iron pan to heat up. And kind of the trick to getting really good, crispy hash browns is that you want to spread them out and kind of have them thin. I'm crying because these onions are like very strong. So I'm using two different kinds of seasoning. I'm using this one here, and I'm just gonna lightly sprinkle this, and this just gives it some spice. Doesn't like feel strong to me. Okay, and then I'm gonna put on some of the <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna put on some of this Lowry's. So one thing I've learned with cooking potatoes is you have to well season them. Otherwise, they, they don't have that flavor. They require, you know, a decent amount of salt. So then you just let it fry. These onions and this stuff just like make me sneeze and cough. Spilled some like coughing crazy and all around there. Yeah. You want to make sure there's plenty of oil, otherwise they will not fry properly. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more of the seasoning. So if you're cooking it the way I am, you'll actually save money on like having to buy a neti pot because your nose just starts draining. That is so gross. Shane's one of the best potato hash brown makers that there is. So it's like one of those things that he could put on a resume. All right, let's see what everybody's doing back here. Oh, we have Arwen, Ashton, and Ethan. You guys done just school? Yep. Uh, I'm just planning until we're done. Ooh, you guys are done. You're playing Scrabble. You know, once they're browned really good, like that, they're done. Look at those. Let's try this nice little crispy area here. I think Seth wants to test it. Those are really good. So you just repeat that process. You can season it to your liking, and you'll have perfect hash browns. All right, let's give these a try. I will be the final say. Mm, pretty good, nice and crispy. Blow it off. Blow it really good. It's hot. No bite. Are they good? 
Daddy, you can make eggs. There's two whole cartons in the fridge and this one. So. All yeah, right. This is what gymnastics girls do. Very good. Arwen wants an egg, so here we go. It's kind of an art to fry a perfect egg. Now the trick is to flipping it without breaking the yolk. I'm frying this at the same temperature I fried oh. potatoes at. You don't want it overdone. Mm, that's good, Daddy. Yeah. I've never done this before, putting sour cream on my hash browns, but I have discovered something awesome. It is the best tasting. You want to try? Isn't that good? Mm. Come look There's at these. There's nothing to say. They're looking pretty good. I bear want something to eat. Good job, Kira. Mm. Yeah, job, that's so it's not stuck together. You writing out your words? Wow, you're flying through that, huh? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ashton, you want to make him a track? I guess. So everybody has eaten now, so it's time to get cleaned up. So, time to go do laundry. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> It's time to get this show on the road. Daddy, you want sucker? I already have a sucker, sweetie. Yeah. What kind right of here. That? Right here. Pomegranate. Pucker pomegranate. Is that a good sucker? Yeah, I got it. I got cherry. We are good to go. Man, that's a beautiful day out. All right. Sitting in one of my favorite places, my air ride seat in the Good News bus. A little bouncy. We're riding in the bus, heading down the road. You drive. attempting to do the impossible. Paint her nails while driving, in, while driving in a jittery bus. And then we have an epic battle going on here. Finally on the road, headed towards the laundromat. Should be there in about 20 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna run in here and get a basket. You wanna hand me some of that? Got it. Here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh wow, that's gorgeous. This is a job that is meant for women because it's it's such a hard job and men can't do it. That's right. I won't argue with that. Holy moly. $20 worth of quarters. Okay, I think I got all my weights in here. Detergent. 
Gems off. Now it doesn't. Good. Nah. Okay. I think it's $18. So this machine cost six fifty. This one was four seventy five. Eleven twenty five. And this is four seventy five. So that's fifteen dollars. I mean sixteen dollars. Sixteen. We're gonna switch the wash. It's hard to get it out. There you go, see? On it. There it goes. of ours that we haven't seen for a long time so everybody's hungry so let's do it yeah so you guys have a blessed day all right we'll see you later bye, bye. bye.